Hi, I'm Arielle Grace, and today we're talking <laughs> trust and surrender. This is the psychic tip of the day. <laughs> and this was a really hard lesson for me to learn trust and surrender because I am a very stubborn person and I'll get it into my mind that it has to be a certain way, right? And because of that, like I, I get in my own way a lot. Well, not so much now, but I do catch myself doing that though. Like, oh, it's gotta be like this and I have to do it like this and it has to be like that. And then, uh, <laughs> that's a mess. <laughs> so now when I catch myself in those spinny, crazy thoughts, I take a breath, nice, deep, cleansing breath. I connect to my heart chakra. I breathe light into it. And I just allow myself to calm down <laughs> and get quiet. And once I am calm and I get quiet, I start to feel or know or see the direction that is the next step, you know, my next steps, right? So when I am calm, I'm able to surrender and trust my inner guidance. And that's something, it is a practice for everyone, right? For everyone. Trust your inner guidance, your, your, um, your heart. Trust your spirit guides and angels that they are leading you on your path. Okay, so once you're centered and grounded <laughs> and you're quiet, and you've surrendered, and you're gonna trust the process, you'll start to really see those next steps and really go for it. And I'll, I'll give you an example. So I, I'm a psychic, I do readings, and I love doing readings. And, um, and I talk to people. When I go out, I talk to people, and they talk to me, and you know, and I, we end up trading cards, business cards and whatnot, and it's fun, right? Shaking hands and kissing babies. So I love doing that because it's fun for me. The other thing that I do that I really love is I write. And so um, last year was a really slow year for me as far as readings go, went. So I'm like, okay, you guys, what are we doing here? How can we do this? And they showed me like some like, like covers of books. And I was like, oh, okay. And they're like, ground, center, connect to your heart, and write. And I did. So, um, because I did that, I'll have three books that are going to be going out this year. And uh, the first of them just went out on the Kindle. And it's called Goddess Girls. And its first week out, I was totally blown away. I, I'm still blown away. <laughs> when I went to go look at the reports, I was like, oh my God, really? For reallys? And because of that book, people are ordering other books. So I was just like, wow, all right. They're like, my guides and angels are saying, keep going. And so I am. I'm st I still do readings because that's my first love. I love helping people and it's really cool. And you're probably thinking, well, you do all these readings. Why aren't you just centered and grounded all the time? Well, because I'm reading for you and I'm centered and grounded for myself so I can do the readings for you. <laughs> But when it comes to me, I'm just like, uh, okay. <laughs> and that's why I have to remember, and I'm always reminding you, is to clear your mind, connect to your heart, get centered, grounded, 
listen to your inner guidance and your spirit guides and angels because they know what is perfect and wonderful for you. So you have to surrender. Some people say, oh, surrender, that's a weakness. It is not a weakness. Surrendering is not a weakness. What it is, is great strength because you're saying, okay, I see that this is for my highest good. I'm not gonna be obstinate anymore or stubborn or think it has to be a certain way. Instead, I'm gonna take a breath and go, which way is the way for my highest and best good? How can I live my life in the best way? What resonates with me? And when you're centered and grounded, you're not influenced by anyone else. You're only centering, grounding, and connecting. So then you're able to take your next steps on your path. And as you practice that, as you practice that, you practice presence, you'll start to feel more confident in your intuition your inner guidance and your spirit guides and angels. You'll feel better and there'll be great joy in your life. So sometimes we go through these periods of like, hmm, what am I doing? How do I, how did I get here? And where do I want to go? But every day, if you take the time to trust in the process, your process, for your highest and greatest good, and surrender to that plan, it just makes for a life of ease and grace. So, that's the psychic tip of the day. <laughs> trust and surrender. It'll bring you great happiness and joy and love. Okay, so have a wonderful day. And remember, keep your hearts open and align with the energy of love. See you next time. Bye.